Example 3. Determine whether the series the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of cosine n over n squared equals cosine 1 over 1 squared plus cosine 2 over 2 squared plus cosine 3 over 3 squared plus ellipsis it is convergent or divergent figure 1 this is a sidebar figure 1 shows the graphs of the terms a sub n and partial sums of s sub n of the series in example 3 Notice that the series is not alternating, but has positive and negative terms. Back to the text solution. The, this series has both positive and negative terms, but it is not alternating. The first term is positive, the next three are negative, and the following three are positive. The signs change irregularly. We can apply the comparison test to the series of absolute values. The sum from n equals 1 to infinity of the absolute value of cosine n over n squared equals the absolute value of n equals 1 to infinity of the absolute value of cosine n over n squared. Since the absolute value of cosine n is less than or equal to 1 for all n, we have the absolute value of cosine n over n squared, which is less than or equal to 1 over n squared. We know that the sum of 1 over n squared is convergent p series with p equals 2 and therefore the sum of the absolute value of cosine n over n squared is convergent by the comparison test. And thus the given series the sum of cosine n over n squared is absolutely convergent and therefore convergent by theorem 3. The following test is very useful in determining whether a given series is absolutely convergent. The ratio test. Number one, if the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n equals big L which, which is less than 1 then the series the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n is absolutely convergent and therefore convergent Number two, if the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n equals big L, which is greater than 1, or the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n equals infinity, then the series the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n is divergent. Number three, if the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n equals 1, the ratio test is inconclusive. That is, no conclusion can be drawn about the convergence or divergence of the sum of a sub n.